In this video, I'm going to show you how you can get the ability to run an LLM through SQL in BigQuery. So this is a use case I'm looking at here, just cleaning up all the symbols and coming out with that in plain text. But to get going, we need to set up the ability to do this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a connection to external data sources. And in here, we're going to pick Vertex AI. And this is just setting up a connection in here. We just name the connection. I'm going to give this a friendly name as well and then just create the connection here. And then what you need to do when this connection is created is this needs to get access to be able to run models. So I'm taking the service account ID, I'm, I'm assigning that a role as a Vertex AI user, and then I want to create a model. So I'm just going to create a data set first to house this model. I'm just gonna name that data set in here I'm just going to call it models, very unique name there. So I've created this data set and with, within this data set using a query, I am going to create a model inside this. So I'm taking the name of the data set here. This is what you need to do to create the data set. It's create or replace model. Give it the name of the data set and then add what you want the model name to be. And with the remote with connection, we want to add whatever we've created our connection ID to be. So I'm just going to paste that into remote with connection. And then in options for endpoint, I choose the Google model I want to put in there. So you can use Gemini Pro. Um, I'm going to put a link to this down below to show you what the endpoints are called. But I'm actually going to use Text Bison here. And I'm going to use Text Bison 002 because that's the better text bison model. So with that in place, all I simply do is run this and this will create the model within BigQuery. And now I can use this in an SQL query. So that model is created there. I just want to click into this and get the model ID. And then I can start querying with an LLM. And the way you have to set up your select query here is you just need to have something called prompt, which you're going to prompt from. And then the result is ml.generate text. So I'm just going to ask the model, what is the population of Dublin, Ireland? And then I could run this and the model will come up with my result. So this isn't the fastest thing in the world yet. And um, I believe this will get faster in the future, but I'm just showing you a methodology to do the prompting here. So that came out with a result and this is a better example here. I want to run a prompt on a larger data set. And I'm declaring a prompt before I go so I can use different prompts in here and I don't have to rewrite it every time. So the first thing I'm doing is creating a prompt table and I'm doing that by creating a concatenated prompt of this text here that I have stored in another table. So I'm just going to run this and show you what this does. This will take the text and it'll write me a prompt. So for every prompt in every row, I'm saying rewrite this and here's the text and here's the text that the prompt needs to come out as and then i want to do the same thing select text as common text because i want to see what prompt went in and i want to get my rewritten text as well and i'm doing the same thing in here with the model so i can run this and now i have my result which i have my common text which is my original text and then i have my rewritten text and you can see that this text has really been improved all those symbols are taken out and they were replaced with their proper text string and what i can do here now that i have this set up is i can just change the prompt to whatever i want so i'm just asking to classify the sentiment here and the sentiment is coming out in the text so this is just the start and scratching the surface of this functionality i'm going to do a lot more videos on this and i hope you found this video useful follow for more